My name is Samara and I'm 27 years old and I've been coming to The Way since last year in October. So I want to share a little bit about my testimony and how I found the Pomona campus. Before I came to The Way, I actually was going to another church. My younger sister is the one that used to come here and she's the one that told me about Pastor Marco. I started watching him um, every single Sunday on YouTube. For those of you who do not know, I live in LA and I heard God tell me to go to The Way in San Bernardino. And I thought that was a joke because that was about an hour and 20 minute drive for me. At first my response was like, no, I don't want to go because that's too far. But then I, I took a step back and I said, you know what, let me be obedient. And let me just say this, God, if, if that's you telling me to go, just provide the funds for me. God provided the funds for me every single week. There was not one week that I could not go to church. Um, and then I remember there was a service and there was a guest speaker and they talked about uh, serving. And I knew that I always wanted to serve. I've, I've been in church my whole life, but I never, I never served. I would just go to church and I would come back home. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna sign up for everything. And the first table that I did sign up for was Adopted Block Pomona, but I did not know what Adopted Block was. I remember um, I spoke with Angel and she was giving me all the details. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's great, that's great. And I remember telling God, you know, there's so many gifts that you placed in me. So I said, reveal to me my gifts, reveal to me what you want me to do. That's when I got a call from um, Pastor Danny for adopt -a block Pomona, and he told me all the details about adopt -a block and he said to show up, so I showed up. And at first I was a little scared because, you know, I'm getting out of my comfort zone. And I remember I was on Angel's team and she had me pray for someone. Even though I've always prayed, um, prayed for people, I've never prayed in front of other people that I don't know. So I knew that in that moment, in order for me to grow, in order for me to receive everything that God has for me, I have to step outside of my comfort zone. And I was just like, okay, I'm ready to do it. So I took that step and I've been serving in adopt -a block ever since and it's been great. Um, I remember I told God, like, I wanna be praying for people. I wanna meet their needs. I wanna share your love with those who I don't even know. And all of that and so much more is happening with adopt -a block Pomona. Before I came to this church, I was one foot in the world, one foot in the word. I would, I would say I'm a Christian, yes, but I would go out clubbing on Saturdays. And I thank God that he showed me who I am. So I'm very thankful. I'm so thankful that I get to be a part of this church. I'm so thankful that I surrendered. I'm so thankful that I was obedient and I said yes. The one thing that I hope that everyone that's listening to this and hearing this takes away from this is to take your walk seriously. Don't be like myself, how I was when I had one foot in the world and one foot in the word, because God has so much to offer. He has so much to give us, but we'll never be able to receive it all if we have one foot in and one foot out. So fully dive in and take your walk with him seriously because he's a, he's a giver. We serve a God who loves to give. So I hope that everyone can take that from this testimony. Candace. Hey family, my name is Joe P. What an awesome testimony, Joe, of Samara. Really just choosing, like, God, I want to do anything and everything. I want to serve in whatever you put me in. And when she found Adopt a Block, she really blossomed there. See what God can do when we give him our yes. And she's now in discipleship. She's now in care groups. That's so awesome. This reminds me of scripture. It's in Proverbs 11, 25. It says, the generous will prosper and those who refresh others themselves will be refreshed. As we seen our sister, she refreshed others by going to adopt the block and now she was refreshed and at the same time protected. So there are three ways to give. The first way is to go ahead and download the Wayroad Outreach app on your Apple Store or your Google Play Store. It's really simple, really easy. Click on the giving tab. You can give right from the app. What's the second way, Joe? The second way to give, family, is you go on your phone, your tablet, or on your computer. You go on your browser and you type in the way that gives. Really easy and secure, family. And the third way to give is to go ahead and bring your donation here to the Wayward Outreach in the back of the sanctuary on any of the kiosks. Also, you can bring your donation here inside the office Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. All right, family, at this time, let's all stand up and the worship team's gonna worship one more song. So I encourage to worship in your giving. God bless you, family.